They are charged with one count of first degree intentional homicide in the adult court. Lonnie, is this the appropriate charge in the appropriate setting? Well, it is clearly a premeditated crime, and it was attempted murder. Adult, and adult. As far as the adult versus juvenile, I'll tell you, I think when you listen to these interrogation tapes of these two young women, and their attorneys said, let's release them and show the judge that they should be in juvenile court because there's a huge difference in juvenile the Juvenile, or should they be getting pleas for insanity, and does that being in an adult court give them more leverage in some way? Well, no. I'll tell you, these interrogation tapes show very clearly they knew what they were doing was wrong. They knew that they were going to get in trouble for it so there's no legal insanity to claim here and there's also a clear difference between these two girls in the interrogation morgan is much more cold and callous and saying things like when they said how many times did you stab her she goes how many times i don't know i didn't know i was supposed to count i mean she's very cold and calculated whereas anisa is crying and remorseful so if there's any arguments we made i would say anisa may be juvenile court but morgan i would say should be an adult court the evidence currently including the tapes was in were introduced by the girl's only attorney as lonnie said and one of the more disturbing pieces are images of a blood-stained mutilated barbie doll and so judy for me this is sort of criminally insane stuff this is you know not just schizophrenia it's schizophrenia plus at least for the more culpable girl that's right and with the more culpable girl morgan i think her name is you know it is really rising to the level of an early psychopath you know mm -hmm. these types of signs that well we now see. wait wait judy is psych she's she's schizophrenic and psychopathic is that what they're going to claim I don't really know what they're going to claim, but this lack of remorse is not actually what you see with schizophrenics who even hold delusions where people are trying to harm them. Well, hold on, hang on, hang on. But, but it's an adolescent who doesn't really have mindfulness, doesn't really understand that her actions have consequences on people. She's psychotic. She believes Slender Man's going to come get her. And then she doesn't really have remorse in retrospect. But isn't that more sort of adolescent stuff in a kid who's psychotic? I don't think so, Dr. Drew. When an adolescent is at the age that Morgan is, you know right from wrong, right? You know you're not Thank supposed you. to kill people. Mm -hmm. You know you're not supposed to stab your friend. This is not the frontal lobe development that we talk about, about moral development. This is basic moral development, Dr. Drew. People who are seven years old have okay, it. Okay, so Thank Leanne, you. you agree with Judy. It's not, not just this part of the brain that we always talk about needing the executive function and be able to understand other people have minds. But Absolutely. this is something more more cold, more calculated. Absolutely, Dr. Drew. I mean, this was evil. These girls, especially that Morgan girl, the one that yes. was talking, is cold and calculating. She knew exactly. She was making smart-ass comments. Well, I didn't know I was supposed to count. Mm -hmm. She knew. She told her friend. She goes, look, we told her we were running to go get help. But when she goes, we left, we knew we weren't going to help her out. I mean, so it's like, I think they should be tried as an adult. And, and Dr. Drew, what is it today with these parents and 12-year-olds? All I've got to say is a new parent myself, your job is to raise these children, teach well, them right from hey, wrong. Whoa, and, and whoa. Then, hey, hold, forget raise them. How about identifying a kid who's really in trouble? They, they lost the opportunity to raise Agreed. her when she was talking to Slenderman. She wrote him a, wrote his, drew his picture on a napkin and started right. talking to it. Isn't that cute? That. She's talking to a cartoon. No, it's not cute on a 12-year-old. It's psychotic. Judy, how do we get parents to understand more clearly that when the kid needs help? By the way, this kid, I don't know if the child has any history of torturing animals, but I wouldn't be surprised. And then active psychosis at the dinner table. How come parents can't identify that. That's right, Dr. Drew. You know what I think this is? I think it's a little bit of a foot in the door syndrome that we talk about. You know, you grow up with your child, you see them develop. And if she did have some of these signs of perhaps torturing a cat when she was younger, maybe other types of cruelty, over time, there's ways for parents to explain that away because nobody wants to believe that there's something yeah, seriously that's wrong bad. with their child. That's, that's terrible parenting, Le Leanne. It is. Agree? Well, I, yeah. I don't know, Dr. Drew. I mean, some of the research of the parents, the parents are both, if you look at their in Instagram feeds, they're both goth parents. They're into skulls and very dark things. They're into um, uh, some of the email addresses connected to the dad or I love evil, and they have 666 at the end. So it, it, it I, I'm thinking that it's in this household, they're dark anyway. So, so these guys are probably looking at Slenderman, he probably doesn't even it. think it's a problem.